What up, everybody? I'm just coming to uh, talk to y'all about this Henry Rugg situation. I'm sure you didn't heard about or read about it. That uh, last night uh, he was charged with uh, intoxication, manslaughter. Uh, so they still doing the investigation, all this stuff. But uh, you know, it's sad to say, man, that uh. These guys pretty much have it made. And, um, you know, they make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I know drinking, drinking is not a mistake. But when you drink and you go out and hit somebody or and somebody die in the process, you know, that part is the mistake. Because I'm sure all of us, not all of us, but a lot of us, then, had a few drinks and got behind the wheel. All right? I mean, according to the law shit, you can have three beers and you get stopped and you blowing this shit in the, in the damn breathalyzer and you, uh, is over the limit. You drunk. So if you drunk three beers, you I'm sure you don't feel drunk, but you just happen to get in an accident and somebody die, hey, you drunk. And you gonna pay for it. But, uh, you know, this didn't happen before. NFL players did this before. And guess what? They got a slap on the wrist. Why? We don't know. Because me and you, we, gonna, we, we probably get some time, five, ten years or whatever. Even though you probably get out early, so the rest of the time, you're on, on probation or whatever. But in these type situations, you're facing up to 20 years. So... Regular old people like us, they might give us five on the 20, 10 on the 20 or whatever. But it happened before in the NFL, slap on the wrist. And I'm going to give you an example. Dante Stallworth played with several teams from the Browns, the Ravens, the Redskins, Patriots, whoever. So he did this same thing back in 2009. And guess what? Guess what he got? License suspended. He did 24 of the 30-day jail sentence. So he did 24 days in jail. A thousand hours community service. Uh, two years community control. Eight years probation. And he also made a... Uh, Settlement with the family. Slap on the wrist. So basically, this man got, well, was drunk and killed somebody and served 24 days in jail. He only had a 30-day jail sentence. Eight years probation, community service. Basically, that's what he got, and he settled with the family. Of course, he can afford to do that because being an NFL player, you got the money. So, and get what? This happened in 2009. He was suspended the 2009 season. He was back in the NFL in 2010. Can regular old men, you get off with that? Shit, no. So, that's just the way it is. And then uh, Josh Brent with the Cowboys. Drinking, driving. Had a friend in the car. Crashed. Killed the friend. Pled guilty to uh, intoxication manslaughter. Got a 180-day jail sentence. That's what he got. 180-day jail sentence, 10 years probation. So, that happened in 2012. After all that, he was back in the NFL. So, I guess that's what money do. Hey, them boys can afford the best lawyers. And they get off with like a slap on the wrist. And I'm sure Josh Brent didn't do the whole 180 days or the six months locked up. But it is what it is, man. That, that's how the law works. It's who you know and how much money you got. That's all it is. And I'm sure somebody in there, probably in the end of the field and, or whoever and told him about the best lawyers or stuff like that. So I hate it. I hate it for the family that uh that this happened to but you know we can also say we hated for him and Rose.
in his family. But uh, me personally, I don't expect for him to get much time. So I, I, I don't expect for him to spend much jail time. And I think he'll be back in the NFL probably next season. If not, what, what, 2022? If not, in 2023. That's just my opinion. So, it is what it is. But, uh, I guess this is somewhat football related. But, uh, just want to know that's a, uh, Alabama alumni. Uh, he did great things at Alabama. He was starting to do great things in the NFL with them Las Vegas Raiders. So, but, uh, I was expecting to see you back on the field in the near future. Just saying. But that's all I got for this little video. I don't want to harp on that situation, man. So, hey, we don't know the details. So, we just know what we read and hear in the news. That's it. So, talk to y'all later. I'll be back tomorrow with my reaction videos of this week's games. Roll tight, and I'll talk to y'all tomorrow.